What's up guys? How are you? It's a beautiful, well, gloomy, but still beautiful Sunday day. I wanted to hop on really quick and talk about something that's been on my to-do list. And I'm outside right now because the family's asleep and like I'm still whispering now, sorry. Um, and I didn't want to wake them, but I do want to talk about this. So, you know that I'm all about like organization and in a past life I was an interior decorator and um, I'm really strongly, I have strong feelings about um, staying organized and like purging, getting rid of stuff. And especially, I feel like a lot of stuff carries a lot of bad energy. So over this, over the past five years, I've been really trying to minimalize. Like I was so inspired by tiny houses. Um, I'm not there yet, but that's my goal. Like I don't want to travel through life with all of these objects. I want memories and experiences and really hold on and carry around the essentials. So, um, that word essential carries a lot of weight now, especially cause we're in COVID times. But, um, anyway, that's the prelude to this video that forgive me, I'm pronouncing it incorrectly. Um, universal standard has partnered with Marimol M A R I M O L E. And basically what they're doing is if you send in anywhere between one and four items that you get a credit for universal standard. And I'll explain the credit in a second, but, um, you can only send in one to four items, which isn't a lot, but it's great because, um, Marimol based off my research is a company that recycles textiles like clothes and, um, like anything cloth, that's my understanding. And I don't know if they work with the general public or recycle from large corp corporations, but this has given us an opportunity to send in four items, well, one to four. As of now, um, the bag, oh, I should say that, Universal Standard is selling the bag for $5. And I think that just covers the shipping. Um, the bag is reusable, and I'll show it to you in a second. It comes labeled with the postage and all of that. But my point in saying all of that is, um, so if you get one item, request a one item bag, you will get a one, one time use $25 credit to purchase something for Universal Standard. So not only are you saving these clothes, these textiles, these fabrics from the landfill, you're going to get a credit um, to purchase something new. And if you follow Universal Standard, um, these are staple pieces for your closet that have longevity, they're quality, they're higher end, they're made better. It's not necessarily fast fashion and they're size inclusive, right? So that's a plus. Um, so if you request a four item bag, that's a hundred dollars. You don't get a hundred dollar credit. You have the potential to earn four $25 credits. So you can use one $25 credit per purchase up to four times. Does that make sense? So I go online, I purchase something, I use the credit that's one time and I can do that up to four times, which will in turn be a $100 credit. So I hope I explained that correctly, but I've been having anxiety about cleaning out my closet because I always do. Um, when I do clean my closet out, I try to donate with purpose and that's where the anxiety comes um i'm just like do i try to sell these online to, to give these a um a second life do i donate them to a goodwill a salvation army or do i try to find a group home with women because you know when you when you're a child living in a group home and you're plus he you might not have that many options for clothing so do I find a homeless shelter? So it's always overwhelming for me. Am I making the right donation choice? That's more overwhelming than actually cleaning out my closet. That's the easy part. So I try not to get in my own way and hinder myself and um, get too caught up and snagged in that one area when it comes to donating. Get it cleaned out clean your your essence in your home and your mind but also try to bless someone so um i'm new to where i am now but in the past i've also you know knocked on a neighbor's door and say hey do you want to look through some of this free of charge you know things like that but 
that's not in the place I'm at right now. Right now, I have a deadline. I have a few days to quickly purge, donate, and get packed up. So um, I'm beating myself up about the donation process. And I just want to say, don't be. There's simple things like this, like Universal Standard. I'm going to be making a, a, a video about thread up. Um, I ordered a thread up bag. It didn't take that long. I don't have the dates. But at one point, thread up was definitely backed up and not sending out bags. Y'all, I'm sorry. The wind is blowing. <laughs> um, what else? We talked about Goodwill. Like, I think I'm going to write an article about it for Posh Magazine. But there are so many ways you can donate and keep things out of the landfill with a quick Google search. And even though when you donate, they may not go directly to a person you know that's in your control at least you made the effort and it didn't go from your possession straight to the dumpster if that makes sense um even some churches they have ministries for the homeless um there are homeless shelters you can google that you can just go drop off food or um, clothing or socks um so that was just me talking real quick about this bag and talking about um, purging and upcycling and reducing our carbon footprint because those are things that I'm passionate about. I've spent these past five years and I've, I've written about this on Posh Magazine as well about me not shopping as much, um, reusing what I have and it not only helps you save money but it helps you be grateful for what you have, take care, better care of what you have and um, not shop because shopping is an addiction at least it was you know a form of therapy for me and I had to learn how to make better use of my time because like my new saying there will always be a sale and that's true so this is the bag it's 100% compostable like when you put things in the compost so it says reuse recycle and it comes with the label I'm doing a bad job I'm sorry hold on so this is the bag comes with the label I'm gonna go in and put four items in it and I'm gonna put it in the um, the mail take it to the post office let them scan it so I can get a receipt and I'll let y'all know if I receive an email with the discount code and all of that and how it works. So thank y'all for watching. I'm sorry this is so like janky, but I want to get this video recorded so I can pop it in the mail and not worry about it anymore. So thanks for watching. Until next time, bye. All right, guys. So I'm here with the thread up bag. So check out my other video. Oh, my dog wants to say hello. Check out my other video. We talked about um, Universal Standard and um, Mimi Mole, Mira Mole. <laughs> Check the link. I can't pronounce it. Oh. Y'all, a girl is stressed. Like, seriously, adult acne is real. I am stressed. <laughs> but I want to pop on real quick. So, I told you that I'm cleaning out, moving, trying to downsize reducing my karmic footprint, being a minimalist, all that good stuff, right? So, Thread Up is finally sending out, uh-oh, you don't want to, hold on. Thread Up is finally sending out these bags again. I've used them before. Um, it says, uh-oh, hold on. This bag, this isn't a bag. It's a stress reduction um, device. So, y'all. I'm going to open it and fill it and show y'all um, what it looks like and then pop it in the mail and make another video and tell y'all what they bought and la da da So thank y'all for watching this part of the video. I will be back in a flash. All right, so look how huge the bag is. This was folded in that envelope that I just showed y'all and um, it says fill it with like new women's kids and clothes. I really hate they don't have men's clothing because my son wears men's clothing, but he's only 12. So, um, yeah. You know, free shipping, leave this on your doorstep. They do have a partnership with the United States Postal Service. 
Um, so I, I don't know that my mail carrier would do it. I don't really trust it. But yeah, they had commercials in the past being like, leave it, they'll pick it up, you know, so that's good. I might take it to the post office or I might take it to FedEx, um, you know, donate. I love that thread up. If they don't purchase, I have the option still to donate to charity, which is great. I know places like, um, what is it? Play those closet and stuff like that. They don't do it for you. And, you know, it's a hassle to take all your items and then have to figure out what to do with them when they don't purchase them. So, um, these are all the great things about <laughs> thread up. It saves time. It's not a toy. It makes money. So, all this is true about when it comes to donating and getting things out of landfills. If you look, it comes with this. That means we don't pay the shipping. So this was inside that pouch that I showed y'all. And this cute little number was as well. So smart closet start here. And this is my first time opening it as well. So it comes with a checklist. Yeah, what they accept, what they don't accept which makes sense you know only submit things that you will want to buy so if it has holes or torn up don't send that because you know you wouldn't want to buy that yourself so don't waste people's time um and these are some of the good things that you know keeping this stuff out of the landfill does so it does make sense to stain removal and you know make your garment look as presentable as possible before you put it in this bag. But this bag is huge. I have a box here with some stuff that I was going through my closet. I'm not done, but I want the box out of my floor. So I'm definitely going to start now. Um, like this is a JLo dress that I bought a few years ago, a work skirt, another skirt, like some of this stuff, I hardly ever wore and some of this stuff I might not put in the bag I might just um, donate or try to find a recycling center because these are some shorts that I cut up myself like I'm always buying stuff and modifying it <laughs> so it makes it hard to resell those items but like this still has the tags on it um, so you never know but I will keep you updated with this journey. All right, I'm so mad at myself. I recorded this vertically instead of horizontally. So don't be mad. Oh my gosh. So I put like 26 items in a thread up bag. I'm so proud of myself. Um, so I'm headed to the post office and I just wanted to give you an update. I'm going to show you what the bag looks like. Um, all stuffed in full and, um, I totally lost track of what I was going to say. Here is the bag. Look how juicy it is. Full of my 26 items. I didn't want to overstuff it because I know things get tossed around in the mail. And here is my bag that's going to um, Maryland. I keep saying it wrong. Marimol. <laughs> so I'm off to the post office to drop these off. And then we're going to wait. Um, we're going to wait a few more weeks. And I'll tell you about the process. So this will be one video for y'all. But it's going to be over a span of a few weeks for me. So I'm going to put these in the mail. Wait for the credit to pop up. If it does, I'll tell you if it doesn't or doesn't. And what thread up buys and what they doesn't so stay tuned all right guys so i'm at the post office and uh, so that bag was huge but two things some of my fears were realized meaning that thread up does have a partnership with the united states postal service um but a lot of people don't recognize it so even when I came with this big old bag they're like no 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 that's not for us send it to UPS and I'm like no I saw the commercials I've used the brand before I know that um, the United States Postal Service 
<laughs> will accept this. So they did. And um, unfortunately, they were correct about this one. The Mary Mole one. Mara Mole one. <laughs> Sorry, I'm butchering the name. But um, that's, you know, U UPS. I forget what the acronym for UPS means. But United States Postal Service, <laughs> USPS, that's the government one. UPS is private owned, brown logo. Um, they're going to take the smaller one. But I want to tell you, the thread up with the United States Postal Service was 19 pounds, 14 ounces. That baby was huge. And I had 26 garments. So maybe like a... A half a pound per garment <sighs> that sucker was huge um so it's a good thing they have a partnership they probably get preferred rates for shipping and i'm so glad i didn't have to pay that rate for shipping that they're gonna receive it shift through it decide what they want to keep and donate the rest to charity so you do have an option to um get your garments back the ones they don't purchase but i think it's like 26 dollars, and i see why this was 19 pounds, but I did get my tracking number, all of that. I'm excited. So that is why I always take the extra time and go in and get my parcel scanned and not just put it in the dump because not the dump, the little um, package receiver. You know, some of them have where you pull the little flap down and you stick your parcel inside, um, just depending on how large or how traffic, how a traffic area a high volume traffic area you live in but um, I always wait in line I always wear my mask hand sanitize in and out and um, get it scanned because what if I would have just left it there and then they were like oh no we don't do it and returned it like I always scan it go the extra mile get it scanned I'm headed to the UPS store and um, you probably won't see me until I get an email notification that my packages have been received and again I'm still recording vertically because I forgot to start horizontally horizontally and I'm just going to be consistently wrong <laughs> sorry so see you in a little bit bye all right guys you're looking at some yummy fro yo because I don't feel like being on camera I look a mess so diving right in I have not today well today is March Eighth, I have not received the amount for my thread up bag. There are disclaimers on their website that um, it's taking a little while because of COVID. I did receive an email saying that um, they received my bag and it tracked my bag all the way to the facility. Also, um, regarding the universal standard in the Mary Mole, I did receive the same week the code so I didn't have to wait for them to receive my package at the facility I receive a code and they said you can use this code up to four times so that was great I have not purchased anything yet but when I do I will keep you updated so um, I hope y'all enjoyed this video I hope that you learned something about thread up about Marimol and the wonderful work Universal Standard is doing. I have done some research on another company. We're gonna write an article about it in Posh Magazine, so look out for that. When it is live, I will link it in the description. And I also will put any other fun details in the description that you may need. But just know, as of now, I do not have an item received. I don't know how much ThreadUp is gonna buy, um, if they're gonna buy anything at all. So. Thank you guys for watching. I thank you so much for being a part of this community. It means the world to me. So until next time, with much love, Izzy. Mwah.